Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. This video is going to show you how I made this sleeve. So we can either wear it like this or we can extend it and wear it like this, like you'll see in the pictures. So what we do here is just a basic sleeve right here and then we make this balloon sleeve so what i'm gonna do is just do this quick video to show you how we did this this portion is very simple for this part how we did the basic sleeve you can check out my video on how to do a basic sleeve i'm gonna link it in the description below and i'm gonna put a card on this video if you're using a mobile device that way you can get to that video on how to do a basic sleeve now let's work on this so what i did here was to measure what i have over here for my sleeve round this is six inches so this right here is doubled now remember that my sleeve too is doubled here so what we want to do is you can use as much or as little as you want so over here what I have here is the full length of my fabric this is 22 inches almost 22 and a half so for your sleeve you can do three times your sleeve or three and a half or even four and a half the you want this portion to be bigger then your length right here will need to be extended so what i've used for this particular size is this length of nine inches and how do you know what you do is to know if you have enough you can just fold it and see how it looks you know by the time you fold it in that okay is this enough for you or alternatively you can just kind of crumple both ends and see if this is long enough for you but if you want it really very much extended then you may have to add some more like if I look at this now this is like three more if I want it that much extended then I will simply be adding three times two which will be six more to it because remember I folded this in and again you can wear it like this or you can wear it like this so it's very um, diverse and versatile so again I just use the full length over here which gave me 22 and then what we're gonna do is we're going to first join one hand of the sleeve so I'm going to join this end of the sleeve first when that is done I'm gonna run gathers all across the edge over here and I'm gonna draw the gathers that's the first step now the next thing is to run gathers around one of the edges and i'm just going to increase my stitch and run the gathers real quick you just have to use like a quarter or one eighth of a seam next is to begin to pull my thread so i can form the gathers so you want to make sure that this matches what you have here and if you need to extend it further or to make more gathers you just do that now doing right side to right side you want to align it such that the same area matches and then the mid point of your basic sleeve matches also with your gathered sleeve so you're going to join the gathered edge of the sleeve now to the basic um sleeve having done that the next thing to do is to make a casing at the bottom where we're going to pass our elastic through i'm going to be using this elastic this is about a quarter of an inch so my casing is just going to be 0.75 just to give it a little more room 
So for the casing, I'm going to fold in about an half, like so. And then I'm going to fold in 0.75. And this is what I'm going to sew across. As I end the casing, I'm going to leave about one inch opening for my elastic. That's where I'm going to be inserting the elastic through. So this is where I'm going to be inserting the elastic through. So now to measure our elastic. To cut the elastic, you can either um, wrap it around wherever you want it to, to hold. If it's at the three quarter length you can wrap it around that area if at the wrist you can wrap it around that area but the one i'm making i want to be able to wear it in two different ways so i want to be able to wear it uh, pushed up like that so in that case we're going to measure around this um three quarter length area so this is what i have this is eight inches so what we're going to do now is to pass a safety pin through the elastic and then we'll pass this through the casing that we made. Now, as we do this, we want to make sure not to lose the other end of this elastic, especially since it's very small. So I'm just going to use another safety pin to hold that to my fabric so that I don't lose it as I do my casing. So I'm just going to hold it temporarily like that. So as I pass the elastic through my casing, I won't lose that elastic. I'm at the other end now. So I'm just going to pull both elastics at both ends out to join them together. So right now I'm just going to put this across like so and I'm just going to stitch it down. I'll stitch it several times to hold it in place. And we just want to pass it through my casing. And then the next thing will be to stitch this down. So we're closing the opening that we have in the casing now and there you go so this is it you can wear it whichever way like I'll show you the pictures so this completes it you can wear it like this or you can decide to wear it straight like so So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please remember to give us a thumbs up if you like the tutorial and please feel free to share our videos. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, be sure to remember to click the subscribe button. Thank you. See you in the next video. And I have another video that shows how we cut this dress. So I'll link that in the description as well if you'll be interested in knowing how to cut this princess cut dress. So please check in the description and I'll leave a card on this video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up and share.